Hello friends, this is Veronica. I make videos about coffee reviews, coffee recipes, and all things from the wonderful world of coffee. And yes, I took a little break and in my other video, if you haven't watched it, I explained basically the reason why I took a break. Um, but I think I'm ready, I'm ready to come back. New year, new coffees, new reviews. Um, and the only thing I am sad about is that I missed, I missed giving you guys reviews about the holiday coffee coffees i know everyone's always so excited about the new flavors for the holidays um so i'm not going to do individual reviews about these coffees but i do wanted to kind of just give you guys my thoughts and opinions um this is my second year with the nespresso machine and the second year that i've tried the holiday um holiday capsules from nespresso and last year, um, I did a review on all of them for the original and for the virtual. And honestly, I didn't love them. Last year's capsules were not my favorite. I think out of all the capsules, one of them was the, I only liked one of them. And I only liked it a little bit. I didn't love it. So I didn't re reorder any of those. This year, I got to try the peppermint pinwheel I missed out last year. So I'm going to put these here and I'll just kind of briefly go over them. I'm a fan of peppermint. I like peppermint um, mochas, peppermint chocolate flavored candy. I am a fan. So peppermint pinwheel winner. I liked it. Um, it was good. It wasn't too, um, Was it, it had peppermint flavor, but it wasn't like too like, how can I say this? Peppermint tea? I don't know. Um, it was good. I liked it. The only thing I'm not sure about it, if it was a half-calf or not, because the coffee was a little bit light. So I did enjoy the peppermint capsule. It was pretty good. Gingerbread. Again, I'm a fan of these holiday flavors um, and other things. Gingerbread cookies. Yum. Um, gingerbread was good. I liked it. Again, um, I'm not sure if these are half calf capsules because coffee flavor wise, it's not too strong, um, which I wish they were a little more coffee-ish. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I did like it. I made this with, um, sweet cream creamer and it was pretty good. I like it. Um, I still have some capsules because these are not capsules that I drink regularly, kind of when I'm in the mood for the flavor or the or something a little bit different and then they had the for the holiday flavors i was only able to buy two of them for virtuo and one of them for the original i waited a little too long when these were released so i wasn't able to get all the flavors in both capsules so uh forest almond i did enjoy i know a lot of you know i really like the design of it this was the forest variations Forest Almond, let's see what it says. Um, forest Almond is a forager's delight this season. We gathered sweet, nutty flavor into the coffee. So last year they had like an almond, um, what was it called? Mm, I don't remember the name of it, but it was kind of like an almondy flavored capsule. It wasn't my favorite. This one I liked a lot better than last year, the Forest Almond. So it was pretty good. And then they had the forest fruit flavor, which some people loved from what I've seen in the reviews and some people did not. I really liked the design though. This year designs was pretty nice. Let's see, forest fruit, um, smooth cereal character takes on festive sweet pastry notes. It was fruity, but not like too fruity because I know some of the capsules from before that were a little too on the fruity side were not my favorite but again some creamer these were pretty good I did enjoy it um, definitely liked them a lot better than last year's capsules again 2021 capsules for the holidays much better this one I was only able to find it in the original not by the time I ordered the virtual forest black was sold out and they don't bring it back. 
This one, I think it's just Espresso 7. Yeah. Um, canopy of tree, sheltered forest, black coffee to protect the flavor hidden in each bean. This one, I don't think it had a flavor. It was just um, spicy espresso, exotic woody notes. Okay, so this one wasn't really a flavored. It was just um, woody notes in it. Um, pretty good. I did like it. I did enjoy it. Intensity 7. It's just a shot of espresso. Um, yeah, definitely um, be on the lookout. A lot of new flavors coming up new capsules they got rid of some last year so they're gonna bring new ones hopefully i'll be able to give you guys reviews on all of them and um yeah i just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts that i really did like these capsules a lot more than the 2020 flavors i guess some years are hit some years are a miss for me this year um not this year because it's 2022. Last year was a lot more successful. Let me know what you guys thought. If you guys ordered these um, capsules for the holidays, peppermint, gingerbread, um, forest fruit, and the forest almond, and the black forest. So it was a little forest theme, and then the peppermint and the gingerbread, you know, love the capsules i think they're very pretty looking of course the design always gets us but we it's more about the flavor so let me know which one was your favorite i think of all of them um i think i enjoyed the forest almond the best this one was pretty good like i said added a little sweet cream i just wish the cup do these have intensities i don't know they do not I, like i said i just wish the coffee was a little more coffee intensity was higher um and out of the peppermint and the gingerbread i think i enjoyed the gingerbread more so let me know in the comments of the holiday flavors for 2021 which one was your favorite and which one would you try would you buy again basically um like i said i missed out i wasn't able to give you guys reviews or recipes which was you know my bad but i will be coming back with more reviews more recipes i just wanted to share and give you guys a little bit of my thoughts um and let you know that although you didn't see videos i did buy the capsules i did make coffees and i did you know do my own little internal review here at home so that's it guys i do have a giveaway coming up for February to celebrate um, reaching 2,000 subscribers and three-year anniversary of this channel, House of Sid. Thanks to you guys. Um, yeah, we're, do we're doing good. So make sure you subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll be sharing more stuff there. We'll do a giveaway in February. We'll have more reviews. I'm hoping to bring more recipes and just a lot more fun cafecito time. So thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.